Yes, perfect. Thank you. So, uh, okay. welcome, Noah, to EuroPython 2020 online. Okay, so I'm Noah. I'm very glad to present my talk here. And also, this is my first time to introduce myself online, really. I never have an experience like that. But it's also very weird because usually I face to other people in the same time. But it had had to be used in that way because of the COVID-19, you already know that. So I'm very proud and I so I want to share some status of conference. As I know, my title is the community-oriented conference data during COVID-19, but actually my correct data is only in the region is Asia now. I didn't collect so many conferences in the world. But I know if you already had the join the many conference previous year, you already know we are uh, of community men. We love community and also we want to join the community so so badly. So now this year is really weird because you know we have changed the way to face the people and also the online is the is the best way we can do that now. Luckily, we have the internet. Luckily, we have broadcasting. The other way, in the pre maybe 10 years ago or 20 years ago, we don't have any technology or some requirement to use that way. So we are lucky in here. Unfortunately, we have the disease with the COVID-19, but we also can connect each other using the internet and online. This is a wonderful edge. So now we are starting our talk. Yeah, now we have a short introduce and also we have a thanks for everyone first uh, because this is my previous job. I want to say the staff from the sponsor participated in all the like, Python 1920, especially online. Actually, not only online, I want to share everything. I want to thank everyone to join this conference because you know this is the way you take you connect the people. Also, this is a way to know the best knowledge of Python. So it's also very good to connect people using that way. So now I want to share my community first, the Force Asia. The Force Asia, the full name is the free open source software. We dedicate support and share and the encourage the people to share their knowledge, their tool, their technology in all over the world. But unfortunately, we don't have any such people, so we have dedicated in Asia. But also, if you're interested to share something in Asia, yeah, please go to the website. I was contacting me. I want to. I love to share something about you. And uh, we have the GitHub, and also we have conference. Unfortunately, this year, you know, the COVID nineteen, the conference in Asia also have very serious problems. So we don't have a very lot of conference now, but. In Force Asia this year in Singapore, we luckily we can host a small conference, small event in the early of May. Oh, sorry, early of March. So we luckily before the disease extend. So uh, if you're interested in the free open source software in Asia, yeah, go to the website or contact me. And now we are going to introduce the conference again because uh, I know you are in Europe, but uh, I'm living in Taipei. And uh, I live in Taiwan, Taipei, Taiwan, and uh, mostly my content or my research or my activity in Asia. So the Asia, of spe especially in Python conference in Asia, is mostly my favorite or my uh, the most activity. So now I want to share some the conference in, in Asia. The first one in India. The India is the first PyCon has was held in the 2009 and uh, the Singapore also the 2010 also is the first PyCon in Asia oh, sorry first the PyCon APEC in Asia the PyCon JP in the 2011 PyCon China in level 2 Taiwan Taiwan in 12 and PyCon Philippines in 12 Malaysia in 14 Korea in 14 Hong Kong in 15 and Indonesia in 17 and uh, Thailand is 18, and the Kyushu is a very special conference. It's the, the county in Japan, but also it has the conference I joined in 2018 in Fukuoka, Japan. And also I didn't contact people in Finland and Australia, so I didn't notice. The other thing is uh, I want to share some status in Asia now. The Hong Kong also will be held 
the PyCon Hong Kong, it, they already had the spring, sorry, spring edition. Which in the spring is the spring, summer, autumn, and the winter. The spring edition will be held in the May 9 to 10. It was online. And the second one is Japan. PyCon Japan will be held in the August 28 and 29, it also online. The PyCon Taiwan was a very special uh, PyCon in Taiwan, also the special PyCon in OHA, I think. It's the physical event, it's offline in Tainan, Taiwan. So if you anyone have a chance to visit Taiwan in the September, don't forget to join the biggest conference in Taiwan. Sorry, biggest Python conference in Taiwan. I believe they will give you a very special experience or Python experience of you. So don't be hashtag to go to Taiwan and I will be there too. The next one will be in the Malaysia. And also I want to introduce the APEC, the PyCon APEC. It was the first PyCon APEC was held in Singapore, I already mentioned. And uh, this year we had the PyCon APEC in Malaysia. Originally in the, uh, this is the first call event, but unfortunately we decide the we have changed to the online because the COVID-19 you already know. And also this year the PyCon Malaysia will welcome everyone to join there. And please, if you have a chance, if you have time in the September, don't forget to check out YouTube. And also now the ticket is open. If you're interested, please go to the website, the PyCon IPAC website. Then the second one, the Korea, the PayCon Korea will be held in the September 26 to 27. It's online too. The PayCon India will be October, then the October 2 to 5. It's online too. Next one is the PayCon China. Now they are considering the date. They, because originally they want to host, they want to, they want to organize the fiscal event in the Beijing, Shanghai, they didn't know. But not in China status is not good now. So the COVID-19 in China is now, uh, it's probably is getting over again. So, so they changed to online. Now they are used, they are rich to the find out the, the next day for the online conference too. So this is the uh, activity is available conference in Asia now. The other is that uh, we have many conferences in Asia. So uh, I want to share something I already contacted, but it's canceled. The Philippines, the, they already said the strategy post is very stranger, but they, in the, the organizer the, for PyCon Philippines, they decide to post the conference, PyCon uh, Philippines in 2019, in next year. So they didn't know the COVID-19, but they decided to post for the third reason. But I can understand because they are very busy, man. The, all the conferences are busy, man. So it's not, I want to help them to organize again, but uh, let's say mm, this year we have to something to do. So we post the conference this year. The uh, next one is the PyCon Kyushu. That's why I say in Japan, they already decided to host in the May 23, but the canceled. Next one is Thailand. Thailand also had decided to organize in the January 20 to 21, but it canceled at first because of the, yeah, you know the reason. But now when I contact the organizer, they say may, may, they might be, they maybe they want to re-host it again in October. This is, I want to, yeah. This is how I want to go to hell. But uh, if the immigration or if the status is good, yeah, of course I'll be there. Then the, I think the almost the conference is online, the few conferences are canceled, but uh, they are, how do I say that? You know, the online conference is quite different because the, that's why we just back to the previous page. The online conference is the, we know the, it's not a technology issue. It's the how to encourage the people to show or to go to the online conference. Because you know, the most people like me, uh, I didn't know I'm, I cannot represent the most people, but when I go to the online conference, my focus is not focused really. 
I cannot focus the, the, the video or the, the, the screen for the, for the one hour or six, 30 minutes. It's very, very weird. But it's interesting to play the game for 30 years or longer, so of course, or watch the drama is for longer, watch drama, a movie of longer. So the online conference is how to, <clears throat> this is also my question, is also my, <clears throat> sorry, my wondering how to encourage uh, in activity the people to go to an online conference. You know, the, now that we have many conferences now, <clears throat> I'm sorry, can we give me a break to drink? <laughs> sorry. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm back. Uh, this is why I say the, <clears throat> the most conference is online. So I am very interested in how to make people to go to online conference and also, but unfortunately, according to content to organize, uh, we are using the, the, the same way to on, in the online conference and offline conference too. So I think the, this is not important to <clears throat> to host the conference and it's more important to make people to connect together, to go to together. So um, in this year, we know they are, I cannot check the, <clears throat> each conference. So I think the most conferences didn't different. They, they have the keynote, they have a talk, they have the like lighting talk. In the Python, you also have the poster event. It's a very wonderful, really. <laughs> I think that is the most wonderful is a post event online. Really. I didn't, so it's we, if I want to share this the status to everyone. Let me break again, sorry. Okay, I think it's much better, I think. Okay, so uh, talking about the, the make people to go to on the conference. So I think how could I make people, how could we make people to go to conference like that? Of course, this is the Edo Python and we are joining it. Of course, this is a conference that we are love to. And of course, this is a Python conference especially. But besides the con this one, how could we pe make people to go together? Now we know we have a technology like this one. We have a broadcasting, we have a GitHub, we have a cooperating tool. And besides that, you can go to the conference <coughs> most easier than before. But now, you do you know it's possible, it's possible to make more fun. We can do the online and offline, make it online and offline almost the same. I think the, it's the most important to is the physical, physical contact, it's like a face to face. This means uh, we can see the people, but now it's, it, it not, it's not important to see the people, it's much more important to feed in the people. So I think the most the conference didn't know the, how to change the feeling or change the way to make the face or to feed in. It means that when I contact the people, when I see the people, I can talk them to very straight or not straight maybe, or but I can I can talk to them very naturally. But when I talk to the like that, sorry, I say this is my first time to online broadcasting, uh, online uh, conferences. So I didn't know it's like the same way or it's the correct correct way or not. But it's very weird to me to to make the conference like that. So this is why I say I before. Be besides to collect the data, to collect the information, uh, mostly I want to know is possible to make the feeling like the, for the most physical, make a con physical contact to make the online contact like the real. So it's not talking about VR because I know I, I, I joined the con VR conference before. It's very weird. I think it's not the good way to go to the conference using VR, even though it's a very um, attractive. But I think the most important thing is the when we seek knowledge, when we collect cooperation together, it's most thing is that we want to feel the people 
in front of you or in front of screen. This most important, the, the most important way, I guess, is the feeling. So that's why I say that I, before, uh, besides the collect the information of Python conference, the most way I want to know or I want to do is not only the connection, it's want to share the feeling to other people. So this also, I joined the most many conference before. But this year is a very stranger. Uh, they also had something, I have something happen to me myself. So I didn't contact the people for a while because I didn't know how to face the people for a while. But now it's a very uh, good way to share my idea or my, my information or my contact to everyone again using this, using an uh, online conference here. So um, this is a good idea to me help. So thank you staff and thanks everyone again. But uh, because it's so to my, my, my personal issue, so I didn't do my, I didn't finish my slider very well. So the other thing is, uh, let's go on to my next slider. The, the PyCon Indonesia, though I didn't count, I didn't get information on the Singapore also. And uh, I want to know, I want to get people know, now is the PyCon APEC, the, the one I already said. The PyCon APEC, it was held in the 2010 in Singapore first, I said, and this year in Malaysia. So before the, the last year when I introduced the PyCon APEC in Malaysia, I already said, what's the purpose to go to Malaysia, Malaysia to join the conference? Because the Pycon Malaysia is a fun. They have a good, good food. They have an interesting scene. And also they can meet people. They are different cultural people. So this is the reason you have to go to Malaysia again. Or you have to go to Malaysia. To me, it's like go to Malaysia again. But the Pycon Malaysia was held, uh, this year the Pycon Malaysia hosted the Pycon IPAC. We are very proud to invite the, our keynote speaker the this PAGR. So um, I'm sorry, I didn't research him for a while, but I've, I think the, uh, he should be the very important man. So I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, if you're interested about Python conference, uh, now it's a good chance to go online, to go everywhere. You don't need to go to other country. You don't need to buy the ticket. Uh, sorry, to buy the uh, aircraft ticket. Just go to, you just stay at home and you can join the in, online conference in the world, especially in out of your country, out of your city. So this is the reason I want to, uh, it's a good reason to go into online because you can contact, you can go into the more conference more. And uh, this is the location of the PyCon APEC originally, but it canceled. And now another one is the Kyushu, this is why I say the Kyushu is already set in the May 20 and 23 in the Kumamoto, but unfortunately it's canceled. So I think how many pages I had, I have checked it. Next one, you will be PyCon, so I think I didn't go, I didn't have the PyCon Japan. Oh yeah, right. Sorry, I missed the, I missed the page of PyCon Japan, then we changed to the, let me check to another one. Okay, can you see my page? Hello, Martin. Can you see my page, my website? Yes, perfect. Oh, thank you. Oh, this year, the PyCon Japan will be originally will be held in the Tokyo. And uh, in Tokyo, Oda City is the location, is the same location for the previous the three years. But it's a very good location there. And uh, now we can see maybe it's the problem about uh, the CSS. So, okay, this is the bug. I think it's this bug. Now we can check that if you have if you have a conference if you have interesting they also have a sponsor requirement and also the ticket is open now. Uh, the, and by the way, the PyCon JP this year they have the free the broadcasting on YouTube. 
so it's free. So if you're interested to count, uh, if you have a question or you want to make an interactive with the speaker or other audience, you can buy the ticket uh, using the Zoom. So you can, <clears throat> you can go to YouTube to see the broadcasting. Also, you can join the Zoom to make a question with the speaker and the others. So this is the PyCon JP. And next one will PyCon Taiwan. Thank you. Okay, this year also, uh, we hosted PyCon Taiwan in the Tainan and also in the Chenggong University. National Chenggong University is the university. So I think that if we have a chance to go to Tainan in the September, in part, we, we, get, we hope in the time the status will be getting better. If we have a chance to go to Taiwan, we are very welcome you to go to Tainan. Yeah. And uh, this take this conference, the physical conference, by the way, physical conference is a very impressive and amazing job. The next one should be. Let me go back to the pike. Where's my link? Where's my link? Where's my page? Okay, Tainan, yeah, it's just a number. And uh, how many time I had? Yeah, 15. Okay, I think uh, I don't have much time. So now I'm going to fast, uh, or I can show you in using this page first to us. Let's go back to this page because it's in the most important, most of the, uh, the most uh, information. The PyCon Japan, they, they require the ticket for the ticket is just for the ask the question for the speaker. And PyCon is a physical conference. And the PyCon Malaysia in PyCon IPAC is also the online conference. They require a ticket to pay $5. And they will also have the broadcasting in the YouTube, but it's a private link. So we we think the $5 is very five US dollars is is not a big dollar. So we'll Hope everyone can support us, but support Malaysia team. So yeah, don't be hashtag and just buy dollar and can join the PyCon in Malaysia too. And the PyCon Korea is online. Also, they are thinking now they didn't decide yet, but they are thinking to payment or their payment with broadcasting or just broadcasting free. They didn't decide yet, but. Now is they are in a few month, few weeks they will decide to how to go to the conference, and the India is online too. They require a payment, and the China is also they had a, a, a paid to buy a ticket to join conference. They also have free broadcasting in the Bilibili or and the YouTube together. Now they say I checked the things here. The organizer of Python China they say they have they thinking to host together, but uh, not decide yet. So uh, Hong Kong, they already had a spring for free in the September, uh, sorry, in May, but they have the winter edition in the maybe October or November, they decide, not decide yet, but it's, uh, it's also free too. So in the in according about uh, the information about this one, I think the most conference is online and some of conference require a ticket, but the sound conference is free. It's changed a lot because you know we um, in the before the Py the PSF said the Python conference should be follow the rule is everybody pay. But I think it's not pay, it's a change to the everybody contribute. But it's not only contribute or pay, the, we know that knowledge should be shared to everyone if you have time, if you want. So this is a good chance to share the, the newest, latest information and the latest the news of every speaker for free online. So it's a big chance. So now according my information and my time, I don't, I think how many time I have now? You have half minute. <laughs> half a minute. Okay, so I, this is all my information now. So it's I don't have a question now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Noah. <laughs>
for your talk. Um, we are running out of time. I see there are no questions at the moment. So yeah. on, Discord, in, on Discord, there is a channel called Talk Conferences During COVID-19. Um, you can find this by entering um, Control K and then you will find this this talk if you enter COVID-19. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you have questions, come there. And in five minutes, we have the... Um, no, in 10 minutes, actually, we have the keynote um, in the Microsoft room. And in five minutes, we have the morning announcements in the Microsoft room. So please join there now. Um, this room will open again at 10 o'clock Central European time. So if you want to see your time, you can check the schedule online. Then you see the local time. So thanks very much for this morning session and see you around in another session again. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Martin. It's great to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.